Paris has two bags of counters, bag X and bag Y. There are eight red counters and four green counters in bag X. There are three red counters and seven green counters in bag Y. Paris puts an extra N red counters into bag Y. He is then going to take at random a counter from each bag. The probability that Paris will take at random a green counter from bag X and a red counter from bag Y is one quarter. Work out the value of N and what is the probability that Paris has colours of different colour. Right, so first of all, we've got to sort this out here. So if we draw a little rectangle to represent bag X, we have eight red and four green. And then we do a similar thing for bag Y. Now bag Y, we have three red, but we are going to add another N red counters to that. So we'll make that be three plus N red. And then we have seven green counters. Okay, so let's just take that right out again very quickly. Okay, best way to approach a probability question is to try and draw a diagram. So this question lends itself to drawing a tree diagram. So it's considered bag X. In bag X, we can get a red, and which is eight twelves, eight because there's twelve altogether, eight plus four, and green, the eight plus four. So that would be 4 out of 12. These need to add up to 1 from bag X. Now, bag Y is a little bit more interesting. So in bag Y, we can have a red. Now, the probability of getting a red is 3 plus N. And then altogether, there was 10 altogether. And then we've added N, so it would be 10 plus N for the denominator. And then the probability of getting a green will be 7 out of 10 plus N. In the second case, exactly the same. 3 plus n over 10 plus n will be getting a red. And 7 out of 10 plus n will be getting a green. Right. Now, the probability of a green and a red was given to be 1 quarter. So, a green and a red we get from this one here. So, that's going to be 4 twelfths times 3 plus n over 10 plus n. This one here. So... First of all, we can cancel this down. So four, and that's sorry, that's equal to a quarter. So cancelling down, we're going to get one third. Four goes into four once and into twelve three times. And now we can cross multiply. So we've got four times three plus n, and then three plus ten plus n times one. So three times ten plus n, we get there. Right, multiplying each bracket out, we get twelve plus four n, and then we get thirty plus 3n. If we take 3n, we're going to get n on this side. If we take 12, we're going to get 18. So n was equal to 18. In part b, we want the probability that we get different colours. So we get different colours from here and here. Right, so that will be the probability of a red and a green. Plus, because they can't happen at the same time, green and a red. These two events are mutually exclusive. Right, so that's going to be 8 twelfths times 3 over 10 plus n. Now this one, we already worked out, we already know that it was a quarter. It was given in the question, so we just need to add a quarter in. Right, n was equal to 18, so we get 8 twelfths times 7 over 10 plus 18 plus a quarter. Now, if we work that out using the fraction button on our calculator, remember this one's multiply and this is add, that will give me a final answer of 5 twelfths. So this has been a video to show you how to work out probabilities when a extra count, some extra counters have been added to a bag, which you've been able to work out. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.